Hello, beautiful souls. So the divine masculine here ironically sees a divine feminine as being very unique, being very different, being someone highly worth pursuing and investing their time in. I literally keep hearing, connecting with you, divine feminine, feels to this person like the opportunity of a lifetime. And yet, they're in this strange kind of limbo energy. Like are they going to seize the opportunity or are they going to let it pass them by? Now, even as I said that, I could sense that this masculine knows if they do pass up this opportunity, they're going to be in deep regret. I'm already picking that up right away. But let's turn to the traditional tarot and see what comes up. Now, to keep in mind, I channel many different people, situations, and messages throughout these readings, so always only take what connects with you personally. If you would like me to channel more specifically for you and your situation, I also recommend subscribing to the channel and liking the video, as this does allow me to pick up more easily on your energy. Okay, so what is going on with this very strange, almost player-like masculine energy? But that word player doesn't really describe the full picture of their energy. Because deep down, they have very genuine feelings. I almost feel like something may have happened with this person's mother or in their family with their father that caused them to not want to get close to anyone. This may have been someone who even was made fun of in school or something like that. They have this energy of overcompensation, like they're overcompensating for something here because they're afraid of losing control of themselves emotionally. With the King of Wands upright, this is someone who's so independent, it's almost to a fault. Like they are so hyper-independent that they actually sometimes have a difficult time forging meaningful connections with other people around them. But again, this may all be a coping mechanism. Even that hyper-independence in this masculine may be a coping mechanism because of an inner child wound from their childhood where they felt misunderstood, they felt abandoned or rejected in some sense. Something about you as well has triggered that wound, because they value you so highly that they are especially afraid of that perceived potential rejection in this particular case, which I know is so ironic. There is that very strange energy, dynamic coming up of them valuing you and your energy so highly that they're afraid to approach you, because they're afraid of the perceived possible rejection of getting too close to you or caring too much. But I'm hearing them say at one level it's already too late because even if they try to deny it to themselves, they already are in deep emotionally with you. Now the number 13 may be significant to someone. We also have the death card speaking to a spiritual transformation. This person is very much at a breaking point in their life. Now, this could be a rock bottom for them, personally, professionally, in relationships. From divine muscular. Type yes, if you believe.